Hey everybody, it's Liz Gilbert broadcasting to you from my hometown of Frenchtown, New Jersey on a beautiful snowy day. It's supposed to be spring. It's not. We're not complaining. I'm just here to report on the book cover contest, which is now officially over. You have made me a very happy author. I don't know whether you intended to or whether you read my minds, but um, in a landslide, you chose the cover that I have been loving this entire time. So I'm extremely happy. I'm just going to review them one more time from last to first, like in a beauty contest. Um, the lovely cover of Alma and the Ferns came in last in our contest. This shocked me. I was convinced that it was going to win. Um, I love the lushness of the plants, but I feel like it's a little risky to put a, a figure on a cover. I always like to let the reader imagine their own character. Um, and I think that a lot of you had the same feeling, which is why she probably didn't make it to the final cut. Um, coming in second, was the gorgeous aubergine purple cover, um, which I love. I think it's vivid and striking and splendid, as a lot of you also did. Um, the only reason, in the end, that I would not have chosen this one is that I don't love that it's surrounded by orchids, because Alma was not a botanist who studied orchids. She was a botanist who studied moss. And the love of her life, the man in her life, was an orchid painter. And as beautiful as orchids are, I felt like the cover should belong to her, and that it should represent uh, what her fascination was. So that's the only reason I didn't dive right into this one, even though it's stunning. What we end up with is, of course, the winner, the elegant, refined, subtle, quiet, cream, linen color uh, gorgeousness. Um, it's, it's mosses, it's field grasses, it's, it's quiet, it's understated, it's everything that Alma is, it's everything that I want this book to represent. I'm so super happy. I'm also just completely grateful to the eight and a half thousand of you who chimed in on this. I can't believe we pulled this off. I can't believe we just made publishing history. I'm so psyched. I hope you love the book and thank you so much for being part of this story. Bye.